Herculaneum, the lesser known town that fell victim to Mount Vesuvius' eruption in 79 AD. While both Herculaneum and Pompeii fell as a result of the eruption, they both suffered relatively different fates. Whereas Pompeii was hailed under a shower of pumice stones, buildings started to collapse under their weight. Meanwhile, the people of Herculaneum watched in horror as their neighbouring town was demolished by the volcano. For this reason, Herculaneum is remarkably well preserved as it suffered a different fate. Today we'll be exploring the ruins of Herculaneum. Ancient tradition connected Herculaneum with the name of the Greek hero Heracles, an indication that the city was of Greek origin. The particular circumstances of the burial of Herculaneum, unlike those of Pompeii, led to the formation over the city of a compact mass of tefacious material about 50 to 60 feet deep. Although this layer made excavation very difficult, it preserved Herculaneum and prevented tampering and looting. Thus, Herculaneum offers a detailed impression of private life that is only with difficulty achieved in other centres of the ancient world. The grassy land that you can see now used to be the seabed, and the open wooden doors is where they used to keep the boats, but now it is half a kilometre from the sea. In the centre is the funerary altar of Marcus Nonius Balbus. There are copies of two cupids on top of it, both of which hold upside down torches as a sign of mourning. And now we are about to come into the main streets of Herculaneum. Herculaneum is made up of three large streets running parallel to each other and two streets running across. There is a total of 43 main exhibits at Herculaneum, but some of which weren't open when we were there. This is one of the big villas in Herculaneum. The rich from Pompeii and surrounding cities used Herculaneum as a holiday home. The pit in the middle was used to collect rainwater as there was a skylight above. In Herculaneum they let you walk wherever you wanted, even on the ancient flooring so I'm not sure how long that will last if there's going to be a lot of people that continuously walk on it. And it is mind-blowing how well preserved some of the wall paintings are. This is one of the biggest villas in Herculaneum and it was located just by the sea and you'll be able to see in a second what the view would have looked like. But the garden was filled with some very interesting statues. Now just imagine where all that grass is, a huge expanse of water, as far as I can see. Just imagine how nice that must have looked from this villa. The holes you can see now were from a shop where the family would live all together in one room above. We are now entering one of the other big villas in Herculaneum and again it has another water collection system in the middle and at the back there is a wooden walls which is the same walls they used 2000 years ago. And as you can see an original bed as well. 
The holes in the side of the pavement were made to tie up horses so they wouldn't run away. I personally think Herculaneum is a better visit than Pompeii, just because Pompeii is just so big and it's so hard to get around everything, where in Herculaneum you can get around everything because it is smaller and it is better preserved. This grooved line in the floor would be able to confirm that this building was a shop and this was due to the shutters that would be closed on it each night and they would fit into the groove. And they have these black and white features all around Herculaneum which showed what sort of jobs each building was for. This is one of the other really big villas at the back of Herculaneum and the villas are definitely the best preserved buildings of Herculaneum. These are the public fountains that the people of Herculaneum used to drink out of. Oh my god. The streets of Herculaneum are truly fascinating, displaying the high degree of planning employed by the Romans. Some of the most stunning sights at Herculaneum include the thermal spas, which you will see coming up, the baths, the gymnasium, the house with the mosaic atrium, and the house of Neptune. Most famous of all is the Villa Papiri, which is one of the most luxurious houses in all of Herculaneum. This building, the Augustium, is still buried underneath the right hand side wall that you can see now. But you can still see the arch that remains of the building. But inside this building here has one of the best preserved wall paintings in the whole of Herculaneum. And now we are just about to enter the Herculaneum Spa and Baths. And we are now walking over what would have been the start of the shoreline.
and inside one of the rooms at the end of the Pompeii see. tour, there's an original Roman boat. Hmm. And if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. But thank you so much for watching my Herculaneum virtual tour. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.